Good morning to all of you. In this video, we are going to get ourselves a pictogram starting from a real picture, as you can see here. We're going to use a template in order to get ourselves a geometrical and simple translation of the real thing, as you can see here. First, in order to do so, we're going to sketch a couple of freehand drawings that are going to allow us to, first of all, convert each and every one of the elements that we see here, the arm, the head, uh, the hands, and also the book, which is going to be important for the meaning of our pictogram, which you already know is going to be a study zone pictogram. So in that sense, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to try to convert all those elements into as simple as possible geometrical elements. So the head is, of course, going to be a kind of a sphere, a kind of circle. Here, as you can see, we see a, a triangle, which is going to be immediately converted into something as easy as that. This is also rather important, the part of the armpit, the hand, is going to be turned, again, into another kind of circumference. Um, yet, it's going to be important to place uh, the pencil, the pencil, is a very important and very significant element into the pictogram, which is going to allow us understand that whatever um, this figure is, he's trying to write down. He's going to, he's, uh, or she in this case, is trying to do something related to books and so on and so forth. We're going to also add uh, the book. Okay, the book, the notebook. It really doesn't matter. If it's one or the other, it's going to be as, uh, as simple and schematic as this. And finally, we are going to possibly also add the gesture here of the arm holding uh, the, the head, which is very significant in my opinion. Here comes the other part of the, of the shoulder. Possibly we are going to place the circumference, the head, a little bit higher. This is going to be something like this. This is going to be, therefore, one finger. This is the rest of the hand. Good. And also the direction of the eyes looking into the book. This is also going to be something rather important to the extent that I'm going to draw another little uh, tiny detail of the head here, trying to get myself those both eyes looking down as she's doing here, looking down. It can be just a simple circumference, or maybe something like this, like that, eyes looking down, or even a more comic-like way of drawing it, like that. Maybe eyes like that could be also a way. This is possibly the most immediate and easy way of trying to get ourselves the idea of eyes looking down. So, also another important part of a pictogram is also being able to put this in a rather symmetrical way. Not necessarily symmetrical in the sense that this is going to be uh, the same uh, elbow that we have here, but in terms of uh, composition weight. That is, if I'm going to draw here, for instance, a desk, I'm going to try to get this into, for instance, a full triangle. That would be nice to get ourselves the full image the full um, pictogram into one single triangle. And of course, the king of triangles is usually the equilateral triangle, or in this particular case, you're going to use an isosceles triangle, 45 degrees, in order to be able to use uh, properly this template, which, as you can see, has 45 degrees diagonals. So in the peak of this uh, triangle we're going to have those that uh, that circumference with the eyes looking down 
here we're going to have mostly the notebook or the book something like this should be nice here we have the shoulder and of course the rest of the elements including the famous pencil and the hand holding the head so something like this is going to be nice okay let's turn all those elements now into a as geometrical as possible element in order to do so i'm going to move a little bit down our template here so we have side by side both elements good and let's get started. I'm going to add another layer, which would be us using another sheet of paper that is on above our template. And I'm going to directly turn into, for instance, something like this. So, I mentioned before I want to draw a triangle, an isosceles triangle, sort of like this could be like that. Good. And the inside of this triangle, I will need to add our circumference. That's not a circumference, clearly not. It's not. Let me see. There we go. That's a little bit too big. Here, do we have the circumference? A little bit lower. Let's say something like this. That's a little bit too big, sort of in between. That could be nice. Sort of like that. Okay. And now, here I will have space more than enough to, for instance, at that height, more or less, to get myself a circumference, which allows me to convert this shoulder into an elbow, a rounded elbow. We don't want so spiky shoulders. That's not really um, natural. And here we're going to add another circumference. Let me see. Sort of like this. This is the place where I wanted it. No, it's more close to the midpoint. So I should be able to place it somewhere here, which is good. So the head and the hand are close to each other. Makes sense. Sort of like that. I'm going to get a little bit closer now. Now that I know what I'm, I'm doing, or allegedly I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to draw here what's going to be the pencil. Good. And the pencil that comes out from there. Good. And here, I'm going to get myself the hand holding the rest of the, of the head. Sort of. Good. And now I'm going to focus on the notebook. Why not? Let's cut here. Those are going to be my perspective rays. Why not? And here I'm going to have the rest of the book, which goes from here to, let's see, let's say that's going to be the midpoint of it, something like that. Why not? And here the rest of the desk, which is going to come from here to there. What? Let's go draw the full straight line. <coughs> Okay, let's get another white sheet of paper above it. In that sense, I'm going to simulate I'm placing another paper above it like this. Good. And now I'm going to use this paper in order to start, first of all, drawing the circumferences. Only this time the circumferences are going to be a little bit thicker. I already know where the center is going to be, somewhere here, good. Also here I'm going to get myself the elbow, good, is it, good enough? 
and again this part is easy since I know already where it's going to be and now I'm going to also start directly with the book in this case the book is going to have the midpoint of the book somewhere here to there let's get up a little bit and and now I'm going to do something a little bit different which is curving the book a little bit those curves are going to allow us to understand a little bit more the volume of the pages is that so good inside out here and the same thing here this can be done perfectly freehand good and now let's do a little bit of overlapping here I'm going to have a partial hand here that's it and let's get the circumference done not quite in its right place a little bit more in the center sort of good I'm going to start erasing from time to time yeah those circumferences lines are not welcome anymore and neither does this part of the circumference which is going to be converted into you already know a pencil a sharp pencil Okay, a little bit of roundness here, good. And here we go, and of course a little bit, no, that's not the one thing that I wanted to do. So, sort of. And now let's go for the hand. The hand, let me remind you, the idea of the hand is holding, supporting the head, okay? In order to make clear to the viewer but this person here is studying very concentrated as much as she needs to get her hand holding her wonderful and thinking head like this okay sort of like this Good. And now, of course, we are going also to concentrate on the eyes. As I mentioned before, the eyes need to be watching into this direction. So I'm going to curve that one like that. And I'm going to add both eyes here one and here another one good and now I need to take some decisions what if I get rid of those lines here so he becomes rather concentrated but not angry I don't want him or she to be angry which is exactly what it seems right now which is not necessarily good because the concept and the idea is not being angry while we are studying being concentrated is a good thing but not necessarily angry now she seems to be sleepy so it's not easy as you can see it's not easy so let's see what if I, <coughs> I move, no that's not the eyes, sort of, now she's not angry anymore, 
Okay, now, now it's a little bit better. As you can see, it's nuances like these are important, especially when it comes to, as you can see, um, pictograms. So that's that's another thing. Now she's looking quite clear into the book. She's not angry. She's concentrated. She or he or, or whatever. I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily um, gender linked. All this stuff. Even better if it's if it's not, in fact. And now let's close the desk. The desk is also important. Okay, let's get rid of the rest of the layers and see how it goes. It's rather clean. It's clean. It's rather neat. Not bad. Not bad. So you know, what we're going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this one here. Okay, and let's get um, let's get some fills. Let's see how it behaves by you know getting all those in black. Not bad. In fact, it even even works a little bit better. That also could work out. Not that much. Let's see what if we get the the bog black like this, and of course the eyes. Now it's a little bit creepy. Those eyes. I guess. You would agree with me. Eyes like those in black, they get creepy. Unless we get some hair. Let's see, can we get a little bit of hair here? Is it going to work out? Is it going to allow us to, for instance, to improve the... Um, sort of. Let's see, if we get ourselves a little bit of hair, this is going to be as creepy as it was before. No, it improves a lot. Now it's not so creepy because, you know, he's got hair. And since he's got hair, it's not a skull or something like that anymore. So let's get rid of all those lines we have here. It's quite amazing the fact that we don't need to draw here any arm bit or any other outlines anymore just by getting the full shape of somebody here studying. It's rather understandable in fact. So, sort of. And let's erase those imperfections like this. Like that, and like this. I'm quite sure the hand here could be improved, but I don't really want you to spend the ages doing the exercise, unless, of course, it's not working at all. But in case, as you can see here, uh, as long as it makes the trick, as long as you get things done, and the message and the final goal, which is getting ourselves a pictogram like this, in which, as you can see, we have a very understandable, simple, and uh, even friendly, would I say. It's going to be even friendly. Now let's get this into a graphic design program. Of course, the orientation of the paper, in this case of the, of the billboard, it's not going to be vertical anymore. In this particular case, we're going to use a horizontal solution. Makes total sense. And finally, only thing still left to do is to add the text. Study zone, of course. And that would be all, my friends. I hope you enjoyed and got some conclusions about how to convert something like 
this into that. Oh, thank you so much for your attention.